Yo, what is up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to solo Flawless Shadow Throne on a Hunter in 2023. To start things off, we will be using the solo subclass with the Knife Trick melee ability, along with Gambler's Dodge and Assassin's Cowl is the exotic we'll be using. For the mods, we'll be using Well of Life, Font of Might, Bountiful Wells, and Melee Wellmaker as our main mods. This will allow us to stay alive very easily and also go invis once you get a melee kill. The rest of my aspects, fragments, and abilities can be seen on the screen right now. So for the first encounter, if you were not already aware, there are 8 Taken bosses that you need to kill around the map. The order in which you need to kill these Taken bosses is completely random. However, the first and last boss will always be in the same location. I'll put a map on screen right now if you didn't already know the locations of each of the symbols where the bosses spawn. Once you have killed the final boss, you'll have to go down a door that opens up and you'll have to make your way to a bridge that you'll need to cross. Now you could take the normal route to the bridge or you could take this skip that I'm about to show you. You can do this on a Hunter, Warlock or Titan, it doesn't really matter what class you're on. Hunters, to make it easier, use Stompies. For Warlocks, I would recommend using Heat Rises and if you're on a Titan, you can run Lion Rampants. Obviously, this is a Hunter focused video, so you'll see how I do it here. Now, once you have made it to the bridge you'll need to kill a captain after killing the captain the door will open and you'll need to cross the bridge to make this easier throw your knife to get a kill and then it should make you invis and you'll get a well to spawn which you can pick up for well of life which will give you 10 seconds of constant health regen you can very easily chain this and keep getting kills with your knife on the phalanxes across the bridge to keep yourself invis and you'll keep getting wells to drop as long as you don't immediately kill them after each other since there is a small cooldown once you have made it to the end of the bridge, take a left turn and keep going straight. Once you exit this room, you'll need to cross this entire path. Basically, you just take another left turn and you run straight and you should make it to the throwaway. Now, once you get here, you want to swap your loadout to the weapons that you'll be using for damage on the next encounter. I will be using the Cataclysmic as my main DPS weapon. But you can use this room to farm up some ammo for the next encounter, as the Thrall will infinitely keep spawning. You can kill them as many times as you want. Now, if you did not already know the path to get through this section, first you need to take a left turn, then you need to take a right turn, a right turn again, two left turns after that, and you should be at the end. Now once you make it to the end, you'll need to jump down and cross another bridge. To cross this bridge, you'll need to run straight ahead, take a right turn, and then you're going to be jumping on these ledges. There will be one Cabal that spawns on the ledge, you can kill him easily. After killing him, you will once again take a right turn, and you will see more Cabal here. Once again, you can just use your knife to go invis. Once you make it through, you're going to want to jump down and take either a left or a right turn. It doesn't matter. You'll end up at the same location. So now this is going to be the first boss that you fight in the dungeon. There's a total of two. This is Vorgoth. And to start damage on this encounter, you'll need to kill four witches and pick up the orb that they drop. After picking up all four orbs, you need to go dunk them at one of the four stations around the map. After dunking, Vorgoth's shield will go down and you'll be ready to DPS him. As you can see in the video here, I throw my blade barrage super, I switch to my cataclysmic and I empty about one mag on this. And then I swap to my shotgun, shoot him twice and I finish him off with my SMG. If you do not have a Cataclysmic, you could also use a Taipan Linear Fusion Rifle. It's the Void one that came out in Witch Queen. It's also craftable. Regardless, this boss fight is super easy and I'm sure you guys won't have a problem getting it done. So once you have killed Vorgoth, you want to cross this path of the floating rocks and then make your way to the first elevator. There will be a total of three elevators that you'll need to go up. And once again, making yourself invisible with the knives is going to make it easier to stay alive. So after you take the third elevator, you will arrive at another throwaway where you can farm up some more ammo for the boss fight. Now before you do anything, I would highly recommend equipping the exotic rocket launcher, the Wardcliff Coil. This will make the final boss fight a lot easier, it basically two shots dual in Karu. I would also recommend you equip a special weapon like a Riptide or a Heritage just to make killing the knights a little easier. Also, form up your super before you get there because you won't be needing your super to kill the final boss, but it does make killing the knights a lot easier. 
Once you are ready, there's a little skip you can do here to skip the pathway you would usually need to take to the boss fight. All you really need is Stompies, the exotic boots for the hunter, and Triple Jump. You can make it across the gap pretty easily. You could also use a sword, but you will lose some ammo for your Warthog Coil. Now for the boss fight, I recommend you use your Super and your Shotgun or Fusion Rifle to kill these knights. And remember, you still have your Assassin's Cowl with your Melees and Well of Life to stay alive. Once you killed all three knights, you can pick up the orbs and start damaging Dueling Karu. As you can see here, the Wardlove Coil is amazing for this. It basically only requires two shots to kill her. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe for more Destiny content. I will be uploading a solo fullless guide for every other dungeon. If you guys want me to cover all the classes in those videos, do let me know. And thank you all very, very much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Peace. Oh yeah, I also stream daily on Twitch. Go drop me a follow there. The link is down below in the description. Twitch.tv slash 2 Peace.